Hi, and welcome to another episode of Making Something From Nothing. Uh, I came across some old footage of when I built the burner for the propane furnace that everybody sees me using, and it's worked so well I figured I'd give everybody some details on it. This is three quarter inch black pipe. I picked it up over at Lowe's. Uh, it's like a 10 inch piece. This is a one and a quarter by three quarter inch reducer. This little sideways piece is a four inch one eighth pipe nipple. And that's plugged off with a cap over on this end. That runs over here to my quarter inch ball valve. Then we've got a, a short pipe nipple here to run over to my uh, quarter inch T. So I could put my gauge on and then another little short nipple that runs over here to my furnace. So you have to do a bunch of little fittings to get to where you need to go. But that's basically it. And this thing has worked so well, I've never had to change it. And I use it in all my videos. Uh, if you've watched some of them, you'll see it used. And if you haven't watched some of them, shame on you. Go watch them. I figured I'd have a backup that doesn't require forced air. So here's the new burner. And on the inside of uh, this, I drilled out this uh, casing. I threaded a, a MIG tip that goes this way, shooting the gas straight down the tube. MIG welder tip, uh, 35 thousandths uh, orifice in there. This isn't going to be there on the uh, finished version. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to yank this out. This is just uh, putting pressure on this tube to keep it in place, keeping the, uh, the MIG tip pointing straight that way. And this tube right now is 24 inches long. Uh, it doesn't need to be that long. It looks like a bazooka or a thing on a battleship. Uh, it's going to be cut down to about, uh, to about there. It's only going to be about 10 inches long, somewhere around there. But I'm going to JB weld uh, this in place after I have it uh, situated. I'm going to JB weld it, and uh, then I'll be good to go with it. So what I'll start it off with this bag of uh, fittings right here, and I buy the stuff online because uh, Lowe's and Home Depot will rip your head off uh, buying this stuff over at their store. Uh, it's like three times as expensive as online, so shop well. And there's the, the ball valve. And this is starting to come together. Now this photo here shows you the MIG tip where it's going into the four inch brass nipple that runs through that. And it looks like I already have the JB weld on there. And that was held in place using that plastic fitting just to push it in so this way I could keep it centered while the JB weld was setting up. Like I said, this is old footage, so I apologize it not being very organized, but let's see what else we got. And there you could see uh, the MIG tip shooting straight down the center, and that's going to run directly to the furnace. And there's the top view of it with my messy JB weld all over the place. and another photo of it. So that kind of gives you the idea of what's going on there, I hope. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gas on. And she's lit. Now let's give it a little pressure. And 
and that'll be enough to melt aluminum without the forced air flow. And that's basically it. Some black pipe, a reducer, some brass fittings, and you can have yourself a really nice burner. These are very simple to make, and I wish I had better footage, but it is what it is. But thanks for watching.